Well, the new BA5 COVID variant causing another wave of sickness for people across central Alabama. For one woman, it's also causing some heartache. First, Dawn Adams had to deal with losing her father to the virus, and now she's dealing with lingering effects from getting COVID herself. Tonight, she speaks to Chip Scarborough in a story you'll see only on WVTM 13. COVID is a wild virus. Dawn Adams says she woke up in the middle of the night recently, knowing right away that something wasn't quite right. It was just the beginning of several difficult days ahead. First, there was an intense headache. You can feel like you're getting better some days, and then all of a sudden your symptoms return and they get worse. For me, I had terrible leg pains to the point of, and this was about two weeks out, where I felt like I couldn't even get out of bed to walk. For many COVID patients, loss of taste or smell have been common lingering symptoms. There's also been brain fog, even more rare tooth loss, but for Dawn Adams, it's been different. Some of my lab work indicated lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. So I've got to, of course, get a further workup done to figure out exactly what it is. But it was COVID triggered. So I was diagnosed with a COVID triggered autoimmune disorder. Doctors say the BA.4 and BA.5 variants circulating in our area right now are more contagious and spread more easily. The variants are known to evade both natural immunity and vaccine-induced immunity. This is still a disease that's affecting Alabama, and we need to be careful about it. Many of our counties are, are now in that high community level, which, which means we should be considering indoor masking. Don Adams is dealing with the long hauler symptoms while still mourning the loss of her father to COVID last year. She has since started the state's first COVID-19 memorial at Herdmont Park in Shelby County. She wants to honor Alabama's COVID-19 victims, but also prevent further suffering. I think what seems like a common cold or people say it's the flu, I really think there's a lot of misinformation out. Another reason she says she wants to be part of the solution. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.